G'day. So the place we're going in today is um, the lower reaches of the uh, New Creek Fosking area. Um, and just doing some test panning. Um, I don't have much time, so we'll probably only run maybe three or four buckets. We'll see how we go. Um, I'll show you the sign. So, New Creek Gold Fosking area. Shows you the, the, um, the area here. The old UR here. And um, it shows you the, the access tracks into New Creek. So I would typically go down this one. This one... Um, it's about 100 meters back down the track um, from here. And I've never actually been on this one. Um, however, I have seen an old historic um, cat track of some description, um, which is well overgrown, but I might have to um, have a look at that one day. But the same, same deals um, as every other one. Um, there is a, a private claim just below um, below uh, um, where this this first track hits the river um, and you're obviously not allowed to get in there um, unless you approach the claim holder but anyway I'll catch up shortly when I am at the creek but anyway I will take you on a quick tour and we will um, see how we go today I've only got a couple of hours to burn um, gonna pick up the kids down the track um, yeah so follow me along and um, hopefully you get something good out of it so there's a signpost to give you an indication where to go and uh, a reasonably well formed track you can drop down anywhere along these tracks um, but what you'll find is there's a lot of um, rot and the tree roots are still above the rot line so they create these huge voids so you'll be dropping into bloody holes it's just easier to stick to the formed track um, and it'll probably save you time as well so, uh, yeah, come along with me this morning and uh, enjoy. The, uh, there's another sign on the track with old mate watching me. Um, and there is obviously a claim downstream from here. So what that means, if you draw a bit of a line, cross, you need to make sure that you're working upstream of, of that claim sign. Uh, we don't want any claim jumpers. And um, as, as normal, if you look at that claim number, um, you can actually uh, track down the, the claim owners and you can ask them um, if they have an issue. Um, and you have to respect their wishes. Some of them are, um, are don't mind, others uh, would prefer that you just don't go on their claim. So um, if you uh, do plan to come down here, make sure you go upstream of that claim tag.
So what I'm doing is, as I'm doing a test pan, I'm just placing the number of uh, colours or, or flakes I see above it. So I've got an idea, when I go back downstream after coming up a bit and, and, and doing some test panning, I've got an idea of uh, which were the better spots and I can target those rather than uh, just randomly go anywhere um, and try and remember. Um, so that's the reason I was pissing around doing that. Um, works for me and just keeps a, a bit of a tally. You could actually, if you're right into it and you're trying to track down where um, some of the gold was coming from, I mean this is flood gold, but if you're trying to track down where it had come from, you could actually um, keep a bit of a map and actually show uh, on the creek. Um, but I suspect it's reasonably random, um, purely because this is, uh, I'd say, um, flood gold or leftover from um, uh, dredging back in the day. Yeah. Because this pan has got the deep riffles and the fine riffles, once I've got it down, I flip it to the fine uh, riffles just to catch that fine gold. Um, the other one does a great job. It's got a 90 degree bend or probably more than 90 degrees. And um, it's pretty good, but this one helps the fines wash over the top while settling the heavies to the bottom. Now if I'm cleaning out my sluice doing this, I tend to keep a lot of those concentrates, a whole lot, and I will uh, take those home and run them through the clean up sluice. like four micro colours. Not even worth wasting time on that bedrock. It's been hammered too much.
So once again, I've got my Easy Sluice. You get these from uh, Dan at um, uh, Dredge NZ. Great little sluice. Fit in your pack real easy. They're quick to strip out. Um, they're pretty efficient at catching gold. In these top riffles, in the lettering, and then in the second a lot of riffles, but then you've got Miner's Moss and other bigger riffles to catch. So they're pretty effective. There's riffles all the way down. I'd say you probably, um, you're retaining at least 90% of the gold that you uh, would put through here. So anyway, get into it. I don't know, I don't know if you've ever been a kid or not, most of you probably have been, and have built dams. You've got to make it easy for the water, the water always wants to take the easy route. So it's not just about building a little wing dam, go upstream and actually put that water where you want it to go. Now I've got a good flow going through here, good angles, I'll do a few test um, buckets of gravel just to see if it's flowing nice, feeding nice. Um, and I'll do a few adjustments. I normally slough gravel underneath the, the front of the sluice and that kind of blocks it out and forces that water to come up and over the top. I'll just keep working on it as I'm um, building during the day as well. Sorry about that, you probably couldn't see much, um, but it's it's looking quite good. Um, good sized flakes, there will be some of the smaller stuff into the, um, the riffles, but um, yeah, yeah, not too bad for one bucket, pretty happy. Right, so um, I've done one bucket out of that, um, the area that I found 10 bits of gold in my first pan. And I'm doing one super full bucket out of the one that was out of the six pieces of gold uh, colours, flakes that I found um, in that pan. So, <clears throat> so yep, this is the one over here. It's near my shovel, and then the other one here is here by the sluice. So um, I will run that bucket now. That's all I've got time to do today. Um, but what I'll do is I will clean up my concentrates and just see see what sort of weight we got for 40 litres of concentrate. Uh, so again, 40 litres of classified material. Um, yeah. And um, I mean, <coughs> straight off the bat, it looks pretty good. You know, I think in my 20 litre bucket, I would normally get about three, three pan loads uh, three full pan loads is kind of about the equivalent, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um,
I might have the smallest of specimens. Um, pretty bad light at the moment, but um, I might go home and have a look at it under the um, uh, bit of a glass. Need to find glass and see if I have anything. I'll put that in my pocket. Uh, in fact, I won't. I'll put it in my snuffer bottle. Right, I'm going to do a clean up now, but I'll show you before I tip it out. Look at that iron sand. Hope that means I haven't lost any. Seems to be better on the upstream side. Hopefully it weighs up all right. I can't imagine I'll have a lot, but um, 40 litres, or probably just, just less of 40 litres, probably 35 litres. Be good to see. Right, I'll see you back of the house doing my clean-up sluice. Okay, so today I'm going to do the clean-ups for New Creek when I did some test panning for those couple of hours, just to see what we got. I don't expect that I'll get a lot, but it'll be just uh, good to see um, doing two buckets worth. Um, how much you can get uh, if you do some good test bending. So I'm going to go through this classifier. It's the um, smaller of the two classifiers and then I'll go through the kitchen sieve uh, which is a lot finer and it'll take out uh, a lot of that aggregate and just leave me with the sand. Small run, but there's a couple of nice flakes in there. So I'm just going to finish panning up um, the concentrates um, that are in my snuffer bottles. Um, that was two 20 litre buckets. So I'm not expecting a lot, but we'll see if I can actually get a weight from two buckets. Two buckets. So I've already got two, two flakes in there. They were the biggest ones that I got in those two buckets. Oh, don't bloody lose it. And this is the rest.
Now, while I'm getting small numbers of uh, gold, the amount doesn't really worry to me. It doesn't matter. It's more about the experience of being out there digging, grafting, and learning the trade. But I can guarantee the day I get a four or five plus gram day will be the day I take the gold more seriously. That's the way little guy, walk to the side. Takes an age. Not bad for two buckets. I think I'll be pushing to get any sort of weight, but we'll still weigh it up just to see. Dry that out. And give you my my tally. Hopefully it'll be like 0 .0001 at least. This could be the smallest specimen there's definitely pyrites here the thing on that edge there there could be the tiniest bit so we'll have a look at that all right so let's put this on Tear that out. Okay, so this is the um, the two buckets of concentrates from New Creek. Not a whole lot there. Uh, we'll see what we got. Hopefully, we register some weight.
There we go. 0.061 from two buckets of classified material from the New Creek lower portion. So all in all, if I kept doing that all day, I think I'd have a pretty good tally. Hope you enjoyed the content and we will see you on the next one. Ned on Rock Adventures out.